Hi, I'm Vespers, a music producer, performer, and Ableton Live certified trainer. I create a lot of HD screencast video tutorials teaching people how to write music using Ableton Live. If you want to see my other tutorials, the best place to start off is my site and blog, which is vespers.ca. The tutorial we're going to be doing today is all about how to write percussion using a MIDI track and Ableton Live drum rack. So we're going to take a look first at the kit that we've created. This is our drum rack, and we've got a bunch of sounds that I've created loaded in here. So we have a low kick drum, we have a high kick drum, so we're layering these two together to create a fatter sound. We have some toms, and the toms are using a reverb send and return that we have built into our drum rack here. Gives them some room sound. Then we have a couple of layers for a snare drum. We have a distorted crushed up snare, and we have a nice chubby main snare. We have some effects again with reverb, and we have some open hi-hats and a closed hi-hat. The closed hi-hat has a ping-pong delay on it with a bit of feedback to create a bit of a syncopated rhythmic sound. Lastly, we have some atmospherics. Again, using the reverb to give it some room sound. So there's our basic drum kit. What we're going to do is we're going to be playing this drum kit with a MIDI track. Now, I've created a basic MIDI pattern in here already, and this is set up as a one-bar loop. So we've created a, a basic beat. Here's what it sounds like. All right, so what we're going to be doing is creating a 16-bar drum pattern. Now, the difference between using drums driven by a computer and realistic drums that a human being would be playing is Human drummers tend to have a lot more variation to their rhythms. They often would, you know, they get bored and fall asleep if they played the same drum pattern over and over and over again. So when we're looking to add some groove and some humanized elements to our drum patterns, we want to be making variations as well. And you can get really detailed and stopped and slowed down in this process if you're going in and doing a whole bunch of manual editing all along your MIDI track. So there's a much quicker way to do this and build up a nice 16 bar drum pattern using a couple of techniques that we're going to cover in the next few minutes here. So we've started off with our one bar pattern and the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this pattern. It's easy to duplicate in live by pressing command D on Mac or control D on PC. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have this section loop. You can have it loop the two bars by pressing control and L or command and L on a PC or Mac. Now what we're going to do is we're going to consolidate these two together by pressing command and J or control J on PC. Now we have two bars and it's the same pattern. So at the end of this second bar we're going to add in a slight change to the drum loop. So what I'm going to do is click here to create a new MIDI event. Then I'm going to use the duplicate function. to be able to duplicate these guys. Let's listen to how that sounds. Now that's given us a bit of a machine gun drummer effect, which we don't want. So what we're going to do is highlight these. And Live has a neat MIDI editing feature built into it where you can create what's called a velocity ramp, or increasing volume if that's the way you have velocity mapped. You will select these MIDI events, MIDI notes, and you'll hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC and click and drag. And notice you get this little line here. And what this line allows you to do is draw a velocity ramp. So now the events have been edited, they each have an increasing velocity and that should give us quite a different sound. So it gives a nice roll, a more humanized roll to the kick drum. So we've got our first edit created. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna duplicate it again. We're going to select both events, press Command or Control L, and now we're looping our first four bars. And we're going to use the Consolidate function by pressing Command J. All right, now we're going to make an edit to the fourth bar. 
and we're going to use some of the effects we have built in now. All right, so I'm going to get this guy in here. We're going to draw this out to get a nice effect. And let's listen to it. So we're not making a huge amount of changes here. We're making subtle changes at the end of each of our duplications to add in some humanization and some variation to the elements. So we're going to go, we're going to duplicate it again. We are going to loop and again consolidate. Now we're at the end of bar 8. And at the end of bar 8, we're going to add in some additional changes. In this case, I haven't really used the toms yet. So now I've created just a little tom edit here at the end of bar 8. So we're going to go for our final edit. We're going to duplicate, and this takes us now out to the end of the 16th bar. We are going to ensure that this entire section is looping. And we're going to select both of these and again consolidate. Now we have one final 16 bar drum pattern and we're going to make one more dramatic edit at the end of this that will signify the end of our 16 bar phrase here. So now I've made my edits to the final bar. All right, so we can take it back now and listen right from the beginning to how our drum pattern sounds. And that is how to quickly create MIDI drum patterns using Ableton Live's Drum Racks feature and a MIDI track with edits and the duplicate function. If you guys like what you saw here, definitely check out the other videos I have online at www.vespers.ca. I've got a email newsletter where I send out a bunch of stuff for free, including music, videos, sometimes set templates, drum rack templates, and instrument racks. And you can also find a bunch of my music and uh, other information up in various other social media sites, including SoundCloud, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you guys learned something, had a good time. I am Vespers, music producer and performer and Ableton Live certified trainer. Cheers. Oh, my God.